Time for the Super Cat Maiden Chase. Next end, this is three and a quarter miles. And the top one is Wrestling Mark, Jamie Hopkins, Cutter Dash, Daniel French, Eight to the Ground, Joshua Sutherland, Kate of the Glen, Martin Leader, and Moon Harbour, Jim Murray. Just five of them then in this, which is quite incredible, really, on opening week. And away we go. And if they all get round, they all get some prize money. So that's a good incentive for everybody in this one then. And it's Moon Harbour who's going to be the first one to show, I think. Although on the near side, Eight to the Ground is upsides they're all safely over the first fence and eight to the ground let's hope he doesn't eight the ground otherwise he won't win and then moon harbor and moon harbor now takes it up from eight to the ground then cut a dash who will be hoping so to do kate of the glen is after that one that one's back from last season and wrestling mark is the back marker so they take the second now ah, we've lost one already and wrestling mark has gone so, so much for everybody getting some prize money, and five becomes four, and we've still got another 18 fences to take, so this could be an interesting race if we lose any more. So, Moon Harbour then, comes to it in the lead, skips over it nicely, K to the Glen second, eight to the ground third, and the grey cutter dash is fourth. So we've only got four horses in a race, we've still managed to get two with red and black, and two in mostly orange, so... <laughs> That's good. So racing down towards the next end, and I don't think we'll have too much difficulty in telling them apart though today, as they're pretty well known colours, most of them, and the horses are pretty different as well. So it's Moon Harbour in the lead, K to the Glen second, Cutter Dash the Grey is third, and Eight to the Ground is fourth. So this is the second race on day three. I hope everybody's had a decent start to the season, and a few. Winners in a few places. It's a strange old week the first week, as Doug keeps telling everybody you really are looking at some tough races most of the time. So if you horses ended up finishing down the pack, don't be put off at all. In many ways, the worst thing that can happen to you this week is to finish about third, fourth, or fifth, because you'll get a whopping great handicap mark and probably not do so well in the handicap. So over that one they go. If you finish down the pack, you'll get a nice low handicap mark and you'll probably have to pick up a race in the next few weeks. If you've come second or third and you're not really that good, then you might struggle. So, so certainly no point in giving up after this week. A long way to go yet and sometimes your best horses will be your lowest rated ones, the way the handicaps work later on in the season. So Moon Harbour. He's the leader. K to the Glen second. Cutter dash third. Makes the ground fourth. Quite well strung out considering there's only four of them. And down towards the next. Uh, they're all jumping that one nicely. Makes the ground just struggling a little bit at the moment, but there's still a long way to go yet. Can't imagine that that one won't get going shortly. The stable it's from. And they take the next one then up the straight. Over that one, okay, with Moon Harbour clear by about four. Kate of the Glen second, Cutter Dash third, and eight to the ground in fourth. Pass the winning post one more time round, please, and let's hope all four of them make it. And Moon Harbour is the leader over that fence going away from the stand. And Moon Harbour's got a four length lead over Kate of the Glen, There's a couple of lengths in front of Cutter Dash. Who's about two and a half lengths in front of eight to the ground? It's downhill now, then, for the next part of the course. And Moon Harbour, take this ditch, might be the one where we lost one last time. And Moon Harbour's the leader. K to the Glen is second, cut a dash, and eight to the ground next. The other three are beginning to bunch a little bit. Moon Harbour is continuing to lead by four, though. And seems to be going well in the lead. As they come down to this next one, although he took that one slowly, and there, K to the Glen has moved right up on his outside. So it's almost two by two now, then. Moon Harbour and K to the Glen, eight to the ground and cut a dash. And they've only got just over a mile still to race. And Moon Harbour, the Jim Murray in the lead. K to the Glen is in second, eight to the ground. Moving up ominously in third. 
and Joshua Sullivan's table as they take the 14th. Oh, and Kate of the Glen nearly went there. They've got an almighty wallop. And that's now corner a bit of pressure as Moon Harbour is joined by eight to the ground. And I wouldn't be at all surprised to see these two pull clear of the other two. That time Cutter Dash was the one that made a mistake. And eight to the ground suddenly has gone from last to first. Six furlongs to race and eight to the ground on the outside of Moon Harbour who's coming back and this time went straight through the top of it and now Cutter Dash is coming into it as well so you know what I'm talking about do I at the moment and as they come down towards the next it's Moon Harbour and eight to the ground being joined by Cutter Dash and Kate of the Glen is the one who's being left behind but even she's starting to run on again now it's Moon Harbour in the lead Cutter Dash second eight to the ground third and Kate of the Glen four they've got four furlongs still to race and Cutter Dash has taken the lead at the third last. Cutter Dash lands in the lead. Slowly over it was Moon Harbour. Eight to the ground in second. Kate the Glen back in fourth. Two more fences to take. Three furlongs to raise. It's an uphill finish, remember. And Cutter Dash is about a head in front. He's got eight to the ground on one side of him. He's got Moon Harbour on the other side. Kate the Glen does look out of it now. It's Moon Harbour on the inside. Back in front again. Cutter Dash. And eight to the ground. These three are clear of Kate of the Glen, who's dropped right away. Over the second last they go, and Cutter Dash makes a mistake, and that could have presented the race to the other two. It's Moon Harbour on the near side. Eight to the ground on the far side. The two top trainers, Murray and Southern, battling it out at the toaster straight as they come down towards the final fence, and over it they go. It's Moon Harbour and eight to the ground. Moon Harbour is just getting the better at the moment. Eight to the ground is next in second, but it's going to be Moon Harbour that takes it up towards the line. Moon Harbour hangs on and wins it from eight to the ground second. Cutter Dash third. And Case of the game was fourth. So, it led for most of the way. They all did their best to try and lose that race at some point. And Moon Harbour has prevailed. Quite how good they all turn out to be will remain to be seen. But Moon Harbour takes it for Jim Murray. Eight to the ground, second for Joshua Sutherland. Cut a dash for Daniel French was third. Kate of the Glen for Martin Little fourth. And poor old Jamie Hopkins wrestling Mark Fell and didn't pick up fifth place prize money.